All right, so remember in the last Osmo 360 video, we went over the different bundles and some juicy details, but there was one thing we couldn't answer. The big question, what kind of sensor does this camera actually have? Well, guess what? We finally have the answer. Huge thanks to Jasper Ellens who spotted it via web shop listing and shared it on Drone XL. So if you were holding out for specs before deciding, grab your snacks, sit back, and let's dive in. Let's start with the main highlight, the sensor. It's a one inch sensor, finally confirmed. And since this is a 360 degree camera, we're assuming both lenses are rocking one inch sensors. Otherwise, stitching an image consistency would be a nightmare. Paired with an f1.9 aperture, this thing is built to shine even in low light. That chunky boxy design, it's not just for looks. It helps with heat dissipation, which is crucial when you're pushing serious resolution. Now, this thing is no slouch when it comes to color and quality either. We're talking 10-bit color depth for both 360 and regular video. D-Log M mode is on board to give you better highlight and shadow retention and more room for color grading after the fact. But here's where it gets spicy. A new pixel layout allows for 8K 360 recording using 2.4 micron pixels. DJI claims a 77% improvement in image quality compared to the usual 5.7K setups. That's borderline pro-level territory. If you're using it in single lens mode, you've got options. 4K at 120 frames per second with a 170 degree ultra wide FOV, or 5K at 60 frames per second with a 155 degree super wide FOV. In 360 mode, it can shoot 6K at 60 FPS, or if you're feeling cinematic slow mo, 4K at 100 FPS in full 360. Battery life, pretty solid. 8K at 30 FPS for up to 100 minutes on the standard battery. But if you slap on the battery extension bar, sold separately of course, you're looking at 180 minutes. Yeah, that's three hours of high res shooting. The camera's got a magnetic quick release system, a one quarter inch thread, and magnetic charging. Yep, the same stuff we talked about in the last video. It makes adjusting angles super easy and works perfectly with Osmo Action's quick release accessories. Now don't expect an invisible selfie stick in the basic bundle, that's reserved for the adventure bundle, or you can buy it separately, but with that you'll get that classic invisible stick, 360 degree effect we all love. For controls, you can use hand gestures to start stop recording, even with gloves on. Want to avoid accidental stops? Just set it to gesture to start only. There's also voice control, so you can shoot hands free, focus on your moves and let the camera do its thing. Audio, DJI is going all in. With Osmo Audio, you can directly connect two DJI mic transmitters. That means you can record two people at once with no syncing needed, it's all, it's all baked in. Just pair, shoot, done. The built-in mic even records ambient backup audio, which adds a nice layer of realism to your footage. But fair warning, it won't support first-gen DJI mics directly. Almost forgot, if you're biking or riding, you can overlay performance data from your Apple Watch, Garmin, or Fit files. It'll show up as a sleek dashboard on your video, looks cool, and makes you look like a pro. Oh, and before we wrap this up, yes, it has Horizon Steady 360 degree, so whether you're spinning, flipping, or just vibing, your footage stays perfectly level. So yeah, this thing's shaping up to be a beast. Let me know in the comments what feature you're most hyped about, or if you're still holding out for more surprises, thanks for watching. Peace.